uh, yeah, train stuck at the moment. Hello? So, you got him then, this air? Ah, it's you, Mr. Marson. Good day, and, and how are you, sir? I'll feel a whole lot better when this whole business is over and the sales contract is signed. Where the hell are you? I'm in Barkstadt. Bollocks what? What in God's name are you doing there? It's a magnificent university town. It would appear Hans Varlberg once passed by here several years ago. So if he isn't there anymore, then there's no point hanging around. I hear what you're saying, sir, but I have good reason to believe that Hans Varlberg is still alive. For the time being, I'm trying to gather extra information from people who have known him. What's your next destination? I'm not exactly sure yet. Doesn't sound like you know too much, Kate. I just need a bit of time, Mr. Morrison. Yeah, well, time is what you ain't got. Keep me posted. I have to say about those phone calls as well, they seem, I don't know if it's the voice acting or the, the script, but I don't know anyone who talks to their, bo to their boss like that. She seems a bit, like she's supposed to be this confident lawyer and, and she talks as if she's a school kid that did something wrong and is talking to their dad about it. It's like, ooh, ooh, Mr. Martin. Doesn't seem like how a, a professional would talk to their boss. But. Ah, they can help me tow my train, I'm sure. Hey there! On the boat! Guten Tag, schöne Mademoiselle! My husband say. Hello, young lady. You want to talk to us? Uh, this conversation is actually pretty funny if you speak a couple of languages a little bit. Don't even have to know them well, but... Um, the woman basically translates everything her husband says, except she changes most of what he actually says. Uh... If, if if you if you know some German, maybe some Dutch and French, you you'd be able to tell easily that it, she's not quite correct in her translations. Cool. My name is Kate Walker, and I'm a lawyer. I'm in charge of this train. This situation is really very new to me. Lawyer. Good job. Earn lots of money. A lot? Uh, a lot? No, I wouldn't go that far. But I, I can't really complain, I guess. But there's worse. Lawyer always ask a lot of money. Can we change the subject, please? I really don't want to go down this road. They do make a lot of money, as far as I know. Uh, I need... Uh... Can you help me? I have a little problem with my train. It's kind of broken i've absolutely got to get it out of the station do you think you could tow it over to the wall with your barge lock close barge block but if the locks were open would it be okay to tow my train then is possible my husband say we help you if you give money right and how much do you want he wants one hundred and fifty dollars. A hundred and fifty dollars? I don't have that much. No money, no barge. Let me offer you seventy-five. Nay, one twenty-five dollar. Out of the question. One hundred dollars and not a dime more. Correct. You have barge for one hundred dollars. Great. Now, don't move. I'll be back as quick as possible with the money. It's a lot of money. Just for... Helping them out as well, basically, because their barge is stuck too with the 
locks are closed. Uh, yeah, have you seen all these birds around? Have you gone down to take a look around the station yet? It's amazing. You know, it's full of exotic birds. <laughs> we no leave boat. Husband is land sick. That's her version of the translation as opposed to with you, pretty girl. Yes, I'd be delighted. <laughs> uh, I guess I need to find a way to make some money. Because I don't think I've I'll leave any. you to it. I won't disturb you again. What kind of lawyer goes to Europe that doesn't bring any money? Also, I did I bring my suitcase from Valadilan? I don't know. Maybe Oscar arranged that behind my back. I'll just go ask at the university whether they can lend me some money or have a job for me, maybe. They want to train out as well, so might as well. So back at the university to uh, ask the rectors for if they have or a job or some money because I need to pay the people who own a barge a hundred dollars before they'll agree to tow my train for a couple of meters. And I did not bring any money myself. There we go. A gentleman, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. Well, in this case, it does prevent my train from leaving, actually. Some sailors have agreed to tow the train, but I don't have enough money to pay them. I was wondering if you could help me out for a while. I could work for the money. Please wait, miss. We have certain confibulations to attend to. That is right. We must confibulate between ourselves. A collegiate decision must be taken. I hope that we are not indisposing you in any way. <coughs> Why not? If it helps us get rid of that train. My word, that is a fine idea. What do you have in mind, gentlemen? Hmm. When you arrived here, you must have noticed a splendid bandstand which honors the main university courtyard. A unique piece of mechanical craftsmanship which no longer works, alas. Why, yes, we have very moving memories of its melodies. We're prepared to offer you a financial reward if you can set it working again. With pleasure. What do I have to do? Unfortunately, my dear, time and rust have taken their toll on this university, and our automatons no longer have a spring in their step. <laughs> You are going to have to be resourceful. To tell you the truth, there are a number of complex mechanisms here in Barakstadt, and it would appear that we have unfortunately lost their operating instructions. Your train, however, is an extremely ingenious invention, so you should be no stranger to complex mechanisms, should you? Uh, we are therefore counting on your ingenuity, miss. I hope that I can show myself worthy of your faith in me, gentlemen. Well, my dear colleagues, one more university matter nicely tied up. It's a bit of a weird reasoning that just because I 
drive a complex train that I should know how these things work. I mean, I take the train regularly and I don't know how they work or how to fix them. But, um, yeah. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't <laughs> time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Seems to be team tea time all the time here. Um... Off we go. Off to check out that bandstand. If we repair the bandstand, we'll get money from the rector from the university. And the people at the barge will then be able to tow our train uh, towards the winding mechanism so we can continue our journey. I guess we have to go this way. Run, run. Nope, no running. Uh, yeah, and then back around. <laughs> so, uh, in a previous conversation, they did mention that it was uh, Hans himself who built this bandstand for the university uh, in exchange for being allowed to uh, sit in some classes. Oh, this thing's jammed. Seems like we need another egg or something. 